Okay, hello everyone. This is my first try of Airport Sim, and this is a pre alpha demo. We're going to be working as a RAM agent, and hopefully, other tasks required for a turnaround flight. So, we'll just select this new game first and the available uh, synap scenario. We have the scenario free play and challenge. So, for this demo, I think we'll be going with the scenario first. And the current available airports that we have now is Fagor. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, it's in Faroe Islands. So, let's go and let's see how it goes. Okay, now we're here on the ramp. So we have here enter air and airport sim. So let's bring up our tablet first. Okay, so we're be dealing with two flights here, uh, two arrivals. Now it's 1:12 in the afternoon. So we'll be handling two arrival flights and two departure flights. One is coming from Copenhagen and the other one is from Reykjavik, Kaplavik Airport in Iceland. Okay, and we see here the map. We're currently located here. This the diamond marker shows our current location and these two aircrafts and two helis here. Okay, and we have here the weather. So right now it shows a temp rain weather template. So well, as a beginner, let's first do a clear sky weather first, just to you know to see the entire visibility of the area. You can see. Oh, we also have a live option here. I believe this uh, you can it will download the latest weather for that airport. I think it's a cool feature that we can see maybe later on. Uh, in the game. So anyway, okay. So we're here in ramp. Okay. So let's just pick up our cone uh, chocks. Okay, and we'll do a quick FOD walk. I think it's a standard procedure for every uh, turnaround flight. So let's just bring in our flight first. Landing at 117, it's gonna park at gate 3. So we have this task that we need to complete. Okay, so let's just have a quick walk around. Okay, this is our FOD walk, foreign object debris walk. Let's just make sure that uh, there are no debris or any sort that may get sucked up in the aircraft engine. Okay, there's our flight now. It's a uh, flight number again. Okay, that's MSG175. So this is flight 175 from Copenhagen. Okay. No, oh, so we're here in Bagar Airport in Faroe Islands. So apparently, I think there's an ongoing strike right now. So I'll be working, I think, everything from marshalling to you know, unloading baggage. Let's just see. Let's see how this one man team pans out. Okay, so the aircraft is approaching our spot area. I, I don't know if this is safe distance to Marshall. But anyway, let's put it here. Oh, there's a headphones on and off. So right now I think this is the ambient sound. So we need to put our headphones. Oh, okay, so it's the headphones on. Okay. Okay, so I think this is gate or stand area is a self propel, I mean, power out type green. We don't need a pushback truck. Have this uh, aircraft uh, 
assist for its departure so it's gonna park diagonally like the one here uh, beside it so it's coming in shortly I don't know why I can turn on the marsh or future so, oh, yeah. okay so let's just wait until the aircraft comes to a full stop okay landing light is off let's put our nose trunks first and then our main landing gear jobs and the other side so okay so i think there's really a shortage of manpower here so i'm gonna put this chunks first okay then let's break the cones Okay, so three for each side. So, okay. So let's see. So let's put this. Let's just make sure that we have a trask. Okay, place trunks. Check. Place cone. Secure area around the aircraft. So let's not make those arriving passengers impatient and do our job as quickly as we can. Oh, by the way, I think in the actual realm you are not allowed to run or hound. But since I'll be doing everything on this turnaround, so yeah, I need to run. Okay, so we now have on the port side cones placed. Now let's put on the starboard side. Okay, one in the front. I don't know why I can't bring more than one cones. I think uh, we used to bring like two cones all together. Oh yeah, cannot. But anyway, so let's put it here. And last one. Last one on the wingtip. Okay, so I believe this aircraft is a Boeing 7378 max but oh the details are really good you know the engine you know i don't know what they call this the pylons or what i, I think it reduced the uh, sound signature of this aircraft overall compared to the uh, previous ng models i don't know with every airline but some do place chops in front of the aircraft you know just to secure here's so, okay let's put it like that okay so please cones. okay what I'm missing oh okay the location is invalid okay so let's put it here like that there you go okay all check now we connect the ground power unit okay so I don't know why I need to connect the GPU first okay it's now uh, 117 so I need to launch because I think the passengers are really good get, getting impatient and getting off the plane okay so now I'm ram agent normally I should be just marshalling and doing supervising everything all but I think I need to be a tug driver here as well okay so let's right here let's start the engines and okay so this one I think I'm gonna suck big time. Oh, oh okay. Okay, so let's come again. Oh, it adjusted automatically. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not the baggage card that we need. Disconnect. Okay. So I think we're disconnected. We need the ground. Okay, there. The ground power unit is there. So I need to have like a good and driving skills to position the connecting point okay oh oh okay okay I think I just damaged the vehicle overall anyway oh there you go okay adjust it automatically so let's bring this unit to the aircraft side Okay, so, uh, okay, let's drive, I don't know, should I, I drive on the right side or left side, anyway, don't care, 
no tr no ground traffic here, so it's only just me, everyone in a strike, and I've been doing everything, and I'm gonna do it as fast and as good as I can. Okay, so I need to drive this away to the aircraft. Uh, okay, okay, I think. Okay, turn off the engine. Get off. Let's warm this thing up. Okay, so it's running. Let's make our board ready. Oh, it's complete with the animation. Connect. Okay, power cable connected. Let's just make sure that it's the oil temperature reached the ideal 120 degrees. Celsius. Okay, so while we're doing that, connect. Okay, so it's now three minutes past, and we still haven't connected our air staircase. So we're warming up the GPU because you know I'm doing everything. Every task here as solo, so I think I should be paid like double or triple of my salary. But anyway, so uh, do I need a training for this one? So because actually I think it's also my first time driving a passenger stair. So if I hit this aircraft, that's gonna be the end game, and you know this flight will be canceled, and AOG, and you know everything. It's just gonna be a real mess. Okay, so let's go. Let's okay. Let's connect it here. Uh, okay. Now this is I think the most difficult part is the aligning. You know I, I really admire all those tongue drivers uh, in the RAM. You know the the actually you need to have a good training here before and you need to pass a certain qualification before you can even drive even the basic uh, ground support equipment vehicle here so right now I don't know what the hell am I doing if, if it's okay according to the training manual that I have like four hours ago I should see a green light okay so let's just drive slowly until the green light shows on oh oh what happened Wow. Oh, okay. I think that's the damage now. <laughs> okay. I'll just. Stairs must be attached. Okay, I found online to other demo players that uh, they haven't figured out how to. I mean, it still shows that stairs must be attached. <laughs> even though they have connected it properly so i think this is one of those you know the current bug or limitation of the enemy so let's just uh, oh, okay uh, no, okay we don't do that normally in the ramp okay so let's uh put okay so let's put our engine to run and then dc out so now we connect here i don't know why I think this part of the checklist is not achievable. Okay, upload luggage. So let's just disconnect our ground power unit here. And oh, okay, I forgot to turn on the vehicle. Nice training. Okay, so let's get our baggage cart. No, yeah, baggage cart. Ah, no, yeah. Oh. Let's get our baggage card here. I, I have the two here. Okay, so I don't know the driving speed limit in the RAM. I think normally it should be like uh, 30 kilometers per hour at the most. And approaching the aircraft should be like uh, 10 or 15, or you know, lower will be uh, in the safer. Okay, okay, up. Oh. Okay, good. Let's connect it here. And. Okay, my computer's lagging now. 
right, so let's bring the other card. Okay, so this is now getting more difficult. Uh, I really don't. Uh, okay, anyway. You know what? Uh, it's really hard to drive. I know how difficult uh, I'm having a control mix up here. Okay, so I don't know if I can do the dual card. Okay, too far. Okay, so it's now uh, 1 24 p.m. 1 3 2 4 local time. Uh, and I still haven't opened the passenger door, so the passengers are now probably get mad, you know, and punching their faces with each other, screaming at the flight attendants on why they're still not alighting from the aircraft. Which, of course, is gonna be blamed if there's not really one ramp person only working uh, overall for their flight. So, oh, okay, I just prepared that one. I need to. Bring this conveyor belt loader. Okay, so let's put, let's drive here. Okay, 30 kilometers per hour, I think. Uh, anyway, okay, brake check. Okay, and then we position this in the front. Unload package. So I have 17 pieces of baggage that I need to. Load and uh, no, I think I need to. Okay, good, good. So let's open the forward cargo compartment. Then I need to position this. Okay, so this is uh, no training, this is uh, on the job training on our live flight. Okay, with no instructor because, like I said. We're all on strike right now, and I only work her at the... Okay, the, oh, I think this is perfect for... I think this is a good achievement for a single try. So let's skill the engine just to make sure that it doesn't move out. And let's bring our baggage cart here. Oh, by the way, I think it's a normal procedure that when you leave the vehicle, you should turn off the engine. You do not leave it turn on just to prevent any you know, unwanted uh, movement. And some airports do require you to chop your uh, what do you call it the vehicle when you every time you align from it. Okay, so. The ramp is now getting a little uh, scrammed here, so that's the purpose of those cones is to make sure that I don't get in contact with the engines. So, okay, so the board disconnected. Board, let's move this away. Okay. Turn off the engine and let's turn on the. Oh, okay, let's turn on the belt. Oh, activate the belt. Oh, I switch off the engine. Activate the belt. There you go. Okay, the animation is really good. So now we're gonna do the. Okay, so I don't know why I cannot activate their ground servicing. Uh, okay, I cannot edit the settings here. So I'm not the language. Okay. So apparently the passengers are still on board. It's now uh, uh, 10 minutes have passed since from arrival they're still not deplaning yet and I do not know why I cannot open the door here even though I've connected it properly I think I haven't raised the stabilizers oh yeah hide set supports why so let's see if it got those activated okay it's now activated let's see again maybe we could have to uh, have it working. Okay, no good. 
so I think this will now be a tech stop flight so all passengers will return to their orig origin because the reason is lack of manpower and yeah we can open the door and I don't know why we can open the door why the staircase is not functioning if the passengers maybe they could just jump around I don't know but, and the baggage I don't know why I can't get the ground handling option working I don't know maybe my shortcut key is not working so anyway so that's it for this uh, airport sim it's a pre-alpha demo and really excited to see how this game progresses hopefully we could see some more exciting features unlock you know like refueling pushback drop and many more and yeah I got this on Steam it's uh, free right now you can download it for free and you can do this uh, uh, scenario game and there's also a tutorial one I think the tutorial uh, option of this game uh, you're able to open the passenger door so I don't know why on this mode we cannot open it and I cannot activate the rear handling maybe I'm missing something I haven't configured the shortcut key and apparently you cannot edit it while here so you have the option of just continue or quit okay so the template here yeah so in a few minutes I'll I'll be having another arrival flight from Reykjavik and we have this uh, departure at 1.32 for Bergen in Norway so MSG8456 where is MSG8456 so yeah I don't know it says here oh it says here it's on stand number two gate number two. Oh, okay so this is the aircraft side here okay so yeah before ending maybe we could see the departure of this aircraft yeah 130 okay that's two minutes left oh uh, this one I cannot interact with I think it's not yet part of this demo I'm not, I'm not sure maybe yeah, so really I'm sorry for the passengers of flight 5175. Uh, yeah, I did my best to service everything and prepare in advance, but apparently, yeah, I think I'm not certified to open the door and to operate this staircase. So yeah, probably I'll be getting sued by these passengers, you know, when they get back to Copenhagen. Am I right? Yeah. And I can't do anything about it because, like I said, uh, all of my colleagues are now on strike. I'm the only one guy here working on three airplanes. Another one will be arriving soon, and another one departing. Yeah, so yeah, it's 1:31. So in two minutes, this flight will now depart for uh, Bergen, Norway. Let's just see how the ramp sounds without the headphones. Oh yeah, you can hear, hear the uh, APU. Uh, no, this one is the APU is not running because yeah, we connected the uh, ground power unit or the GPU. So yeah, let's just do a walk around. I don't know. I think we can open the back as well. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, we can interact with it. Oh, and it's 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 empty. Yeah. Is there really a passenger here? Oh, yeah. Why am I why am I servicing a flight with no passengers? Yeah, so everything is all working good, yeah, except for that. I wish I could open the door for this one. Okay, I know, this is a good screen job. Can you even see the 
engine blast here. The animation is really good, I think. Yeah. I mean, the de developers uh, desire of this game really to the attention of details uh, really well. Yeah, that's the that's the almost closest as the real sound of us uh, seven three seven max starting its engine. Yeah, so I'm amazed. I mean, it's very good. So it's starting its flight now. We need to keep a safe distance from this aircraft. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just standing right here. Should marshal this aircraft. I mean, like I said, this uh, the parking stand uh, is a self, what do you call a self power out, or you know, the aircraft will power out itself uh, towards. I mean, going to the runway. And you don't need a pushback trap like you normally would on a traditional airport. I think for those busy airports, you know, use the pushback truck to push the aircraft into the taxiway where uh, it will start its engines there. So here uh, it will start it, it will start its engine on the gate and you know turn in this case it will turn right uh, towards runway. So let's just see how the departure flow works. So apparently I think I Oh, landing. We have another flight. Yeah, flight from Asia Bing is now arriving. Okay, so I'm not sure who will service this aircraft. Oh, there she is. It's going in straight, I think, for this parking stand. So I think in the full version, maybe we could see some pushback trap here. That flight, but right? anyway, so I'm just paid on minimum wage right now. So, okay, let's just hope for the best for all of these flights. Okay, let's see this departure of flight mirrors because, uh, again, this flight is now a gas and go flight. So, yeah, sorry for passengers. Okay, uh, there you can see that she is now turning. Wide by itself, so it will be the stand uh, as it is. Okay, the other flight is now coming in, so I think ground control is doing this exact uh, precision of uh, managing the ground movements, you know, to make sure they maintain a proper distance. So, uh, do, are we seeing like a main strike here? No. Okay. Is it gonna hit this one? Oh my! Uh, the wingtip clearance is nerve-wracking, to be honest. <laughs> that was really close. That's uncomfortably close. But yeah, the pilot of this flight managed to maneuver the aircraft and maintain a safe distance. Okay, another flight from Asia Bay has just arrived here. So, okay, let's do our job properly for this flight as well. No, no wheel line is still on. Oh, yeah, I'm crossing the, the driveway here without even looking left and right. So, in the real world, real world, yeah, you cannot do that. In a busy airport, you're definitely gonna be hit by the ground vehicles. Okay, I cannot interact on this flight also, so probably, yeah, because I'm not done with the other flight here, you know, my main flight, so, yeah. Okay, I think that will be all for this demo. Thank you for watching, yeah. Okay, see you again. Bye-bye.